Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Universal Studios Orlando. I am so excited to see all the Christmas decorations and to meet the Grinch, hopefully. So, let's go do this. Seuss Landing is so decorated. I love all of the garland, I love the white trees, I love the little trees, I love the ornaments, even the blue clocks. I'm not sure where we go to meet the green guy, but I'm gonna guess it's somewhere near Grinchmas. But I was wrong. It's actually down here by the Mulberry Street store. <laughs> literally, I feel like they literally just put garland with lights over everything. Which is not a bad thing at all. I feel like there's never enough Christmas. You can always add more. It's about a 45 minute wait, but they do have some of the Who's actually out entertaining people. Oh, how fun. And you can actually find many and many of Grinch Christmas stuff. They even have a Grinch Christmas tree in here. Look at this. How pretty. Look at up top. <laughs> oh, I like it. <laughs> this is such a festive tree. I really like it a lot. You know, I like all white trees with lots of lights, but they added so many other cool Grinch factors into it. You just can't stop and love it. And how about your very own Grinch spirit jersey? I want this actually. <laughs> I really, really do want this. Look at that one who actually carrying all the presents through Susan Landing. That's hysterical. And he got a couple other ones that are walking behind someone in an electric wheelchair. The music really keeps you occupied as you're waiting in line. They said it's about a 45 minute wait. We've only been here 10 minutes and we moved half the length. So, luckily, the Grinch is right in there. Oh no, here he comes. What do you guys want? A oh. picture with someone that looks like me. So festive. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That wasn't a compliment. You know, if you dyed this hair green, you might be as attractive as me. Get it? Oh, we're talking about the belly. <laughs> Make room for the booty, guys. Look out. Ooh. Oh, it's a danger zone. Danger? Looks inviting, but it's not in fact safe. Oh, okay. Danger's cool, though. Yeah. Danger's Danger. fun. Danger. <laughs> 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 I like it. This is freaky. It is. Do you bring that thing with you everywhere? Uh, uh the that bathroom. Thing weird. <laughs> the bathroom? Not the bathroom. You should bring it in the bathroom. I know. That would be something. <laughs> Love to watch you walk away. <laughs> Wow, seriously, the Grinch is one of the best character meet and greets I've ever, ever, ever done. He is so awesome. I just want to go back in line and then hear what he has to say again because he's very clever and very witty and he's very Grinchy. Look at they are putting in post actually for the new ride. That's so awesome that I'm watching this happen right now. I'm gonna head on over to Harry Potter now because I really want to see if I can get on Hagrid's. It's been a couple weeks since I last rode and it's one of my favorite rides. And here we are, Hogsmeade. And we're going down the wrong side. Ah, to the right, to the left. There we go. Hagrid's is at a 90 minute wait, wow. Just got off Hagrid's and I gotta tell you, it's still my favorite roller coaster. I love it so much. It literally brings like smiles to my face. <laughs> now, since I had my favorite roller coaster, I might as well get my favorite beer. And there it is, the Deathly Hollows. Gonna head back into Seuss Landing and see if we can catch the 3.30 show for Grinchmas, but it is 3.29. And I was denied. You have to be 15 to 20 minutes early. I showed up one minute early. Not acceptable. So I think I'll do the cat in the hat to buy some time until the next showing. I sat there with Sally. We sat there, we too. And I said how I wish we had something to do. Not in the house. Send the fish in the pot. They should not fly kites in a house. They should not. 
One of my favorite rides. I absolutely love it. I'm serious. That is such an underappreciated ride. I love it so much. Oh, and look, as we come out, we see some more Seuss characters just roaming around. Do you guys like green eggs and ham? <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. It's a mixed emotions, mixed emotions, but that is a green ham. Very interested. So after we hung around Seuss Landing a little bit, I came to a little dilemma. And the dilemma is I wait for the 4.30 show of Kurt, uh, Grinchmas or I head over to Universal for the 5.30 Macy's Parade. And I think I'm going to do the parade. And since we are going to walk over to Universal, because it makes more sense to walk there instead of going over to the Hogwarts Express, especially if you're in Seuss Landing, we're going to go the back way, take a look at the Berlin Wall, and see if the secret entrance is open. And here it is. An actual piece of the Berlin Wall. Look at that. You can actually touch it. You can say, I touched the Berlin Wall. That's awesome, isn't it? And now we are going to walk back here and we're going to see if the secret entrance is open. And some of you might think, wow, that building looks familiar. Anybody know what it is? It's the Blue Man Group. <laughs> no, it's the old Nickelodeon Studios that they had here. How cool is that? There it is, the secret entrance. I don't know if it's really secret or not, but there it is. No line, no wait. <laughs> And just like that, we are in Universal Studios. Ooh, do you see the tree peeking over the Monster Cafe statue? The park closes at 8 today, and it is like a ghost town in here. I'm loving it. Literally, like when we walked in, Minions is only a 20-minute wait. Everything else is basically walk-ons. And look at all these Christmas decorations. They got Santa hats on all the light posts. That's very smart. But one thing I definitely want to point out is the Christmas tree here because I believe this is the girtiest Christmas tree in Orlando. Look at that tree, right? It is definitely the girtiest, I have to say. Nothing compares to that. And the ornaments are the size of like five of my heads. Look at it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh -huh. The Universal Orlando Stars Performance Program would like everyone to give a warm welcome to the West Glades Middle School Marching Wolves, Parkland, Yeah! Florida. Woo! Oh, we got a marching band. And I think we picked the perfect spot for the parade get a little christmas tree in the background beautiful blue skies i like it a lot and you can see up there they actually just started turning on all the lights it's so pretty here when the lights turn on oh i don't know if we're gonna be here when it's dark because the park does close at eight it's starting
was such an amazing parade. I really loved it. I really loved all of the balloon floats. I loved all the different characters. Bravo, Universal, bravo. After the parade, everybody just cleared out and we are back to empty, empty streets. This is pretty amazing. I like Universal Studios when it's like this. You just got the whole place to yourself. During the parade, they actually turned on all the lights. And I didn't even know that the tree lit up, but wow, what a beautiful tree, huh? The whole street is actually lit up. You've got a bunch of little trees up there all lit up, and then tons of garland. I like it a lot. And look down here, look at how the street is so decorated. Oh, I like it. Coming up on King's Cross, and look at these lights. Oh, it reminds me of a winter wonderland. Look at all those lit up trees and the garland, and then the people sitting on the bench. I love it. <laughs> it's so pretty over here. Now, I kind of want to do something I haven't done in a very long time. I want to do the Simpsons ride only because the Simpsons is now a part of Disney. Like it has all the seasons on Disney Plus, everything like that ever since Disney bought Fox. But when this ride first came out, it has so many things that are basically mimicking and mocking Disney, Disney World. And I think it's kind of funny now that Disney owns it. So I want to point out a couple of them. And here it is, Krusty Land. And I can't wait to show you all the Disney puns in here. Obviously, Captain Dinosaur's pirate ripoff is definitely a plunge at Pirates of the Caribbean. Yesterday's churros. The haunted condo kind of looks like the haunted mansion poster, does it not? That is definitely a knock on Frontierland. Will they ever ride this baby? We're like that space guy who did that moon thing. Neil Armstrong? No, Chewbacca. Uh... Now enjoy the point for this thing, and I'm riding it. Now hop in. Now the last thing you'll ever see: a legally required safety video. Ah! Look at the gloves. Look at these tombstones. I don't know if you can see it too well, but outside of the actual attraction, and they are kind of like the Haunted Mansion tombstones. Louse killed the mouse. Take a look at King's Cross from across the bay, and look how pretty it is all lit up. And on the way out, just look at all of these palm trees all lit up. This reminds me of Sunset Boulevard at Hollywood Studios, but there's no flashy lights and no projection on the Tower of Terror ahead. So it's kind of not like that. I don't know why I said that. And with that, I think we're calling it a night here at Universal Studios. Had a lot of fun. That parade was fantastic and the Grinch was memorable. So, love the life you live. We'll see you next time. Bye.